Hi everybody, this is Bob, Silver Eagle 2061, and I am uh, opening up school for today, uh, Cigar Smoking 101. Uh, the first thing about smoking a, a premium cigar is that you'll find in most of the cigar shops that you go to, in premium cigar shops, that the cigars are sealed, like this one right here has no hole in it okay and this is a Romeo and Juliet this is a very good brand it's a red band as you can see and uh, it is a mild to medium smoke I prefer this size sometimes a little bit bigger um, if I'm celebrating something on New Year's Eve or something I, I usually get a larger cigar but I usually settle for this size now what you're going to find is there are two ways of <clears throat> punching a hole into a cigar. Now you have this one and then you have some of the other ones which are more tapered off. With those cigars that are more tapered off you would use a regular cutter. You can find them in any cigar shop, any cigarette shop. Some cost for about a dollar. The cheapest ones are about a dollar. They're good. And they're just as good as the twenty dollar ones. And um, those for the most part are are uh, for the the long elongated tapered cigars for these this blunted end cigar what you're going to use is what's called a punch and this is a good example of a punch right here this one is mine and uh, it has a little circular cutter as you'll see right there and uh, what I would do is I would take the cutter and then you'd put it right there at the end of the cigar and then you turn it put just a little pressure on it and then you're going to twist it this one actually has little like screw things so you can actually screw them in here as you'll see and then you'll see once it's open like that then I discard it like that now you see there's a little bit left in here the hole that's in here and then I would actually uh, pop that out okay this just pops out or sometimes I just blow it out <laughs> see there you go so that's that's popped out like that Sometimes it gets a little bit, um, there you go, stubborn. And then you put it back together. Okay. Now, it's a really nice hole right there, a nice punch. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you always want your uh, blunted cigars to have a hole this, uh, this large. Okay. Nothing too big or you'll overdraw it. You don't want that to happen. And um, so from this point on you can enjoy your smoke and in the uh, uh, what's going to happen in the next show, in the next class, I'll teach you the proper way of lighting it. And It's not as easy as you think when it comes to a premium cigar. You think you can just grab a big lighter. It's easy to do that but there are actually cigar aficionado rules to lighting a cigar and I'll get that uh, I'll get I'll get to that next time and then I'll show you the proper way of lighting a cigar um, but always remember your two cutters um, the regular uh, cutter which looks like scissors for a buck any cigar cigarette shop and then you get the punch this is called a punch they come in a lot of different forms and you can also get these cheap too and um, and you'll enjoy that and then next time we'll get to how to light a cigar also I want to show you a good way to carry your cigars if you don't want to carry a whole box um, is get one of these carriers this is a small leather carrier right here I can take this off and I can put this inside 
like that and I can also take a couple more now this is only for three cigars but you can actually get some that fit six seven eight nine all different kinds if you want to travel with them and then this will just cover that like so so you can just carry this with it and this is a hard pouch this is a good hard pouch so you really don't have to worry about breaking your cigars if you can want to travel with this and this is highly recommended okay and then we'll get to other things later on but until then I just wanted to share that with you so um, as I always say as a cigar aficionado there's this little uh, rule which uh, goes like this uh, may your cutter always be sharp may your ash be extra extra long and may your humidor always be full thank you